Hey guys, Matt with Bleepin' Jeep. Thanks for joining us today. We are at Leatherwood, Kentucky's largest off-road park. It's 50,000 acres. We've got some locals that are going to show us around. I've got my Scorpion with the brand new sticky tires. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Let's get started. All right, guys, we are here at Leatherwood Off-Road Park today. I don't know how well these trails are mapped, so I'm going to open up my Onyx app and we're going to record this track, but first, I want to add a waypoint here. So I'm going to hit add waypoint and we're going to say that this is the campground. There we go. Save that. Now we are going to hit go and track, record track. That way if I want to come back I'll be able to find my way exactly where I was before. There we go. All set up. Alright, let's see what kind of rigs we've got with us today here. Country out here. Look at all this kudzu. All right, looks like we're coming up on our first trail here. They call it Twister. Holy cow, that looks steep. Are you sure that's a trail? Yes. Look at that guys, that's nuts. driver right there it's a widow maker more up there is no that's it this trails definitely twisted that one was tough i hear that you made this trail i helped make it you helped make the oh yeah. there's more trees falling down it's dangerous up in here have you done it in your buggy no just been two got up it really that i know of that was well, tough. third now third and all right i'm the third person to make it up what do you call this trail twisted why do you call it that she named it she watched two bouncers come up and they was flexing out and stuff you said twisty be a good name for it <laughs> so she made a sign you made the sign for this trail yeah. i'm gonna have to go check it out <laughs> okay <laughs> 
Good job. <laughs> These trails are pretty tight. Looks like a lot of them are pretty fresh. We just got done doing that twisted trail. I'm gonna put that on the map for you guys. And now we're gonna head over and meet the rest of the group and figure out where we're going from there. What's going on with that truck? Pushed him from the bottom of the hill all the way to the top and we're not sure what's happening. <laughs> Did you do any damage to your truck? Don't think so. <laughs> it's a good thing your bumpers line up, kinda. Look at that view. Have you guys seen this view? I mean, look at that view. So pretty. So pretty. Look at all these rigs. We'll give you a walk by of all these rigs here from the front side. Oh man. Looking good, looking good. Got Grandpa Cherokee there. Got that GMC Toyota. Josh's Grand Cherokee. We got a Red Cherokee. A JK, and it looks like a TJ over there. We found a trail over here that's never been done. What's it called? I have no clue. Oh, it ain't named yet. Whoever runs it gets to name it. it sounds like maybe Josh is gonna name it. Maybe that's why Josh is trying to get down in there. Go for it. I'm gonna end up on my backside here in just a minute. Assuming everyone's gonna winch.
It looks really mossy up there. So that apparently that's been done up until this point, this and then the exit not. right here. Okay. But uh, this section has not been done. It's not very long, but it's very steep, and it's still got moss on all those rocks there. So I don't, I don't know. This one's going back. Yeah, from here up. Josh, doing what he does. <laughs> Let me get up in front of you, Matt. Right there? Yeah. There you go. There it is. I thought it was going. Oh yeah. Uh, try backing up cut just like that. All right. That was it. Yeah. Here we go. If he can clean all that moss off for me without getting mud all over everything, it'd be good. Back up a little. Stop. Oh, I might have made it worse. I just made it worse. Josh is cheating over here. That's a big boulder. That's a drive shaft killer right there. Well, you're gonna push that over when you come for it. <laughs> I thought you were going to push that over when you came forward. Send it. I'm just saying send it because it's not their ring. <laughs> You're, you got a giant rock wedged in your rear axle right now. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted that there. So close. Yep, you can now, you move that rock.
let's keep it real. You got 43 inch stickies and rear just here. It ain't gonna be easy for anybody else. No. That was pretty dumb, cause like, I was just tearing up my stuff. Look at my tires. That's the second day that we rode on them and there's chunks missing out of them. All right, let's see how the burritos are doing in the burrito cooker here. Oh, oh they're hot. They're hot burritos. Got beef and cheese. And beef and cheese. I think I'll have beef and cheese. So that was a serious hill. And the bypass for that hill is called Winch Cable Hill or something like that. I don't know if you can tell how steep that is. But there's level. So eventually this one's going to get bad too when all this mud starts getting slick and sliding down the hill. But that one was just insane. That one was crazy. If it was flat, it would be hard, but being steep and rocky like that made it impossible. But, I said it was impossible now. Josh is going to give it a go, of course. And, uh, what do you think the chances are he's going to break something here? He's getting somewhere. this obstacle and then the next one is right there. Pretty sure he lost a tire. Valve stem? Yeah. Snap it off. I knew those valve stems were in a bad spot and I bought plugs a long time ago. For some reason these tires or these wheels have two valve stems on them. Alright, I got it. So that is what we need right there. It's a little 1 8 NPT plug fitting. Holy smokes, look at this guys. What was he doing down there? You doing Toyota things down here? Alright, Josh's tire is inflated again. Ready to rock. Now we have a rock bouncer here coming up. I'm interested to see how well he does. Oh look, Josh is going places. There you go. I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to make it past where I was before he winches. And that's, I think that's right where I was, right in there. If you don't realize how steep this is, here's another Jeep trying to go up dirt road right next to us. That's where you had to start winching. That one here? Yeah. You're almost there. We got that bleeping Jeep winch line strung out all 90 feet of that sucker. All right, we got a rock bouncer coming up through. Holy cow.
one of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't need one of those. You've got one. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was crazy. I got to see this thing. Look at that thing. Holy cow. So the engine, look at how cut those tires are. That's crazy. I think the only reason it doesn't break is because it doesn't get down in the rocks. It just skims the top of them. One seat, shifter, steering wheel. That's about it. What was that, like 30 seconds? Made it right up through there. Only got stuck once. Had to back up and hit it again. It looks like the Ferrari of rock bouncers. That, that little kick out there is awesome. Yeah, you hit a tree, that thing just slides you right around it. All right, we're gonna go hit another one called Socket To It. So this is Brian. His Jeep broke down back there. What happened again? The clutch. Got a YouTube channel. Yeah, it's uh, it's called Living Jeeping and Adventuring. Uh, we do all the same stuff, going adventures and rock crawl and repairs and all that good stuff. Yeah, so go check it out. This looks this looks gnarly. A lot of people were saying this place didn't have hardcore stuff, uh, just dirt roads. But there's a lot of hardcore stuff here. Maybe it's just not on the map yet. Yeah, we'll say they were wrong about that. It's a pretty gnarly trail so far. Close to it. What's that tire cutter right there? That was totally legal. He said that that was the easy side. No. No, that was the rear steer only side. I couldn't tell because you were stuck on it so bad. I couldn't see it. Just because it was so hard. <laughs> wow. Check out this Cherokee. Come on up here. Did you have an accident on your leg? I did. I don't know how it came out there, but... <laughs> came right out the side. You hear that? If this sounded like that, it's 
be unstoppable. Unstoppable? Unstoppable. I'd be breaking everything because I'm so heavy. It wouldn't matter. I'm carrying 6,000 pounds up through here. That would be 6,000 pounds of momentum. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This thing works good, but after seeing that bouncer back there, I feel like I need more horsepower or a diet. Put this fat girl on a diet. So everybody says rear steer is cheating, but nobody says that that's cheating. <laughs> which which one's cheating? Both are cheating. 1,400 horsepower, that's cheating. <laughs> you made here. Yeah. This is a nice place. Thanks. So what's cool about this park is that it's still under construction and if you talk with the owner of course you need permission first go maybe uh, scout the trail put some flags up go talk to them have them look at it and they're perfectly willing and capable to make new trails anywhere you want here because there's not a lot of trail system yet I mean there's a lot but there's still 50,000 acres of trails to fill up with more and they're open to all the help that they can get of course you need to get permission but uh, they're wanting to cut more trails and build more trails all the time. They're always looking and scouting for different trail opportunities. So that's the neat thing about this park in particular is that if you see something and you're like, man, that would be a really cool trail, you go talk to them, they might be willing to make it into a trail. So that is really, really neat. Something that's very, very rare. Look at this rock right here. That's a big boulder. Not only that, look at this tree. That's a big tree. It's huge. We're standing here talking and Josh is going doing something crazy. Josh, I think you're off trail. <laughs> I think you're off trail, buddy. Watch out, that tree's dead. for the win y'all just saying okay over here we have the tire challenge Josh right here there's a mud hole that they say is pretty easy I need you to get in there I don't think I want to do it again there's a hill that's 
probably 15 feet high, but it goes straight up. And I came up off of that just on the back wheels. wheels well, straight. we got to get it again. I don't want to do it Let's again. Let's go do it again. I don't want to do it again. <laughs> I want to go drive through the jungle back there. Let's go drive through the jungle. This guy here has a bleeping Jeep trash bag. He's doing it right. You got this. That's a pretty good rock course I got going on right here. There he goes. Look at that tire. I need a set of those for my Jeep. Nobody's learning on that tire. Everybody's getting stuck on that tire. All right, we're gonna go over here to the jungle and see what that is. Welcome to the jungle. Enter at your own risk. Look at that. How cool is that? Josh, drive in there. Let me put this on your back bumper somewhere and I'll drive behind you, like 10 feet behind you. Never seen anything like that, but you ever seen anything like that? I have seen something like that. <laughs> what Once the heck? <laughs> seen it a few times. So you got an oh my goodness, that trail was rough on tires. Uh, yeah. yep. As soon as you sat it, or somebody sat it, I heard it. I was going down. Oh no, that's not even a Patagonia. No, it's a pro the second one in the second trail. You could probably put some plugs in there. You got the glue tread? Yeah. Nice. So muddy. Right there. Found it. Yeah. That's not too bad. No, A couple plugs. Plug. Hopefully it's just that one. Hopefully. Josh and I were just talking about different ways to lift a vehicle the other day. Look at this thing. You guys ever seen this? River, river. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh, ho, ho. it got on something sharp under there. Yes, it did. Oh. Everybody all right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. That bomb just blew up in my face. Oh, I seen it. <laughs> That scared you. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> it just finally got off the ground and boom! Dang it. Note to self, don't waste your money on them. Right? <laughs> How much are those things? 350 bucks, I think. Oh, uh, send it back. Yeah. It must have been on something sharp in there. Well, I threw this over the top. That's usually what protects it. You know, just lay it on the top of it. You ain't got a boat hanging down from your rock slider, do you? No, this is all smooth bottom. Maybe it's not meant for big heavy Jeep. <laughs> Should have been That's under like the exactly what they sell it for. Under the axle, maybe instead of the whole Jeep lifting the whole side of it. That's good, good question. <laughs> Every, everybody's PSI. wondering what just happened. Ten psi. <laughs> I think we had more than ten psi. Everybody was like, "What was that bomb that just <laughs> went off over there?" <laughs> that was nuts. There is an off-road fuel rod uh, at Wind Rock. There's a dude up there. Alright, we got them tires fixed up. Now we're gonna go back over here and play on the playground some more. It's almost getting dark. Up right there. 
No. Nope. It's getting worse. There, hold on. <laughs> you got me in a jam. Pardon me, sir. Do you have any Dr. Pepper? None for you, sir. Really making this rock garden look too easy. Okay, there's a little jump over here that Josh has been jumping. I'm gonna see if I can crawl it though. I'm gonna walk in my shoe. Remember that FC that we gave away a while back? This is Dave right here that won that FC. And this is his CJ. Check that out. That thing is cool. You gotta go test it out there, Dave. Yeah, I'm going to. This is a brand new rebuild. It's got a lot of new parts and a lot of new pieces in there. You gotta go see what breaks first. Yeah, I'm hoping nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's got slider boxes front and rear on this thing. Taking hints from the Comanche, huh? Yep, yep, yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of cool stuff in here. Look at this fuel cell that he's got here. Kind of hidden under there, under the toolboxes. Got a little piece that comes out here so I can fill it from the side. I need to do something like that because mine is hard to fill if you don't have a nozzle. Aluminum welded. Looking very good. Well, thank you. Let's go see some air under the tires. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see air under all four tires like you did last night. <laughs> he won a Freedom Winch Line at the raffle. I'm going to send that to him. got the engine on the side and the back on the side that's cool
<laughs> You're stuck like that. Josh, you're drawing a crowd. I realized this. <laughs> Didn't you teach him to drive any better than that? <laughs> Freedom West line. officially showed up it is raining like crazy so this hard trail just got a whole lot harder i think i think matt's next but we'll see we'll see what happens here looks like matt's gonna go for it think about it until oh. I thought you had gotten into somebody's vehicle and were taking cover and then when I drove up through there I thought oh man oh. I should have threw him this poncho <laughs> as I was driving past but I think oh. you were already soaked. 
Um, yeah, I was pretty sunk at that point. <laughs> I think it's this angle, but all the water's coming off of my hood and somehow getting through my windshield and just pouring down through the dash. Yeah, it's dripping here. Your burrito cooker. Cooling down my hot pockets. This light is shorted out and is on. Okay, this is our situation update. We're gonna try to continue to wheel. I've got this as my window. Up front there, he's got his head sticking out the door to see. I can't see a whole lot. Just don't let me fall off the mountain down there. No, you won't fall off. Oh, that was bear poop. Bear poop? That was bear poop back there. All right, we got a brave volunteer to film this in the rain. Again. Again. Here we go. Alright, set. <laughs> Back up for the set. Holy cow! Is that the line? You made it the line. You made it the line. You can't back down, huh? Yeah, he's in a tree. Just said we might have to winch him again. He says he's got it, so. Ah, you're, you're back in that hole again. You got your door a little bit. Oh, that wasn't today? Let's see what happens here. Watch that tree. There he goes. <laughs> we got another one attempting it. That tree, it's tough to get past that tree. Right up here, there's a second one. Kind of flattens off here and then it climbs again. That is a good looking Jeep right there. Look at that. Oh yeah. For today's lunch selection, we have 
Hot Pockets. Do you need me to hold your purse? Just drive straight. You got it. That's still you got it. Oh wait, wait, wait. No, just kidding. That's cool. Does anybody want to be a bleeping Jeep camera crew? I will. All right. What's your name? Dustin. All Smith. right. Dustin, if this video turns out bad, the audience has to blame this guy. All right. <laughs> Ten four.
commencer. getting intense up here on this ridge. Where does that even go, Josh? Off the side of the cliff. I think that one over there is called Parachute. It looks like it says Father Squeeze. <laughs> I'm gonna go see what it says. Look at this. That's nuts. This is crazy. I don't even know how that's possible. It looks like Somebody ended up down there. Fat man. Fat man squeeze. Oh, it's through these trees right here. Yeah, that's tight. You can tell people have been driving up on top of the trees. Okay, just gonna say right now this is crazy. Making it look easy. Now you gotta go through Fat Man Squeeze. Look at this moss, this is cool. You gotta hit this tree, ping pong off of that one, and that one. I don't know if you guys can hear those fans, but that is the fans providing ventilation for the mine shaft over there. Missed Fat Man squeeze. Now he's trying to back up to go do it, and he's that's getting sketchy. Oh my goodness, he's falling off the hill. There he goes. Woo! Did a front dig and spun around that tree. I thought he was going the wrong way, but that's apparently that's the way we're going. Don't mess up. He's making a big deal out of nothing. Yeah, they made a big deal out of nothing, I agree. <laughs> 
I don't think I'm gonna go around that tree. I think I'm just gonna go straight through here. I don't know. I don't like that either. I gotta hold the camera, rear steer, and steering wheel all at the same time here. Putting my arm in. front tire has dropped in a massive hole that is a 43 inch sticky and it is officially gone <laughs> <laughs> 